Hello, this is Mary from Boosted CRM. In this video, I want to show you a custom portal that we created for a client in the healthcare industry. Our client, they sell uh, medical testing kits like SIBO tests, lactose intolerant tests, respiratory testing like COVID tests, RSVP, influenza, and many more through their website and also medical practitioners. So they needed an easy solution for the medical practitioners so that they can easily onboard with our client and request for inventory as well as keeping track of the payment uh, of patients. So we came up with this solution. Uh, we created a portal for them. With the help of this portal, practitioners can easily sign up and onboard with our client, request for inventory, keep track of the inventory, and also get payments and save uh, patient information. So these information will be saved in the CRM and books of our client uh, and they can keep track of inventory and uh, also the payment as well. Show you how this portal works starting from the sign up. Uh, if I hit sign up in the CRM accounts module, an account will be created. And for this account, a contact will be created as well. You can see the account type, it's practitioner. And you can see the password and these fields, these are not populated. This practitioner, if you want to give the portal access, you need to come here and click on this access to portal checkbox. Hit save. And then the passwords will be generated, status will be active and the practitioner will get this email to access the portal. Now, if I come here and sign in as the practitioner, log in. So right now, as this is my first time, I need to re reset. Reset. Okay, right now I don't have any inventory. If I come to the account of this practitioner, you can find a Zoho Finance over here. You can create a sales order from here, or you can come to Zoho Books and create the sales order from here as well. Your wish. Uh, it's much easier to create it from here. Now I'm going to add uh, the items. Test item. Now I'm going to add a quantity. 15, 20 and hit save now if i come back to my portal as the practitioner i'll find these items in my dashboard as you can see the low stock is five by default the practitioner can change the low stock from here if he or she wishes also the CRM user administrator can come here and change the low stop from here as well. Okay. And if I change it from the portal as a, the practitioner, we will send 
an email to the record owner. We haven't done it yet. And the record owner will be notified by email. Right now, we will create a new order. I will select an item. You can change the quantity. By default, it's one. Then next, add the patient's name, test, boosted patient, email, this is my email. Now, if I hit submit, an invoice will be created in the Zoho books. And you will get this QR code. The patient can scan this QR code and then pay. Or you have this button called payment link. If you click over here, then you can directly pay from here. Or if you come to the patient's email, you can find the invoice over here and the patient can pay from his email as well. It will go to this uh, invoice. The issue over here is we need to set up the payment gateway then the patient can directly pay from here but for now we haven't done it so this is the whole overview of the system how a practitioner will sign up then you will add the sales order and then they will get the inventory and they can select the item from the new order and then the patient information can be filled up and then you can generate the invoice so that you can get paid. If you have any sort of questions, just please let us know and we'll get back to you. Thank you very much for watching this video.